Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Late last month in November, Google rolled out Chrome version 108. And as I did post on, one of the new features that was made available in this latest release, version 108, was this new performance page, which is found in the settings menu, which adds the new memory saver and the energy saver and features to the stable version of Google Chrome, which I did talk about quite in depth when they were still, and this feature was still available in Chrome Canary, the preview version of the browser. Now, um, I will leave a link to that video I did post on Chrome version 108 in the description because I went through this in detail. And also, this feature is currently on a controlled rollout. So if you're not seeing Memory Saver and Energy Saver with the new performance page, then I did mention in that video how you can enable the feature um, using an experimental flag. So you may find that of interest if you are not seeing um, the new performance page with Memory Saver and Energy Saver, which is currently on a controlled rollout for version 108. Now, on that note, um, Google has recently um, uh, made an announcement that with the latest release of Chrome on desktop, which is version 108, they are introducing two new performance settings. So Chrome uses less memory to keep your tabs running smoothly and extend your battery when it's running low. So you have your memory saver for um, your tabs, which frees up memory from inactive tabs, as mentioned previously, which is very similar to the sleeping tabs found in Microsoft Edge. And then you get your energy saver when on Chrome conserves battery by limiting background activity and visual effects. And then you have two settings, turn on when my battery is 20% or lower or when my computer is unplugged. Very handy for um, mobile devices like laptops and other devices that rely on battery power. Now, and just to carry on, um, um, Google says they will be rolling out both memory saver and energy saver modes over the next several weeks globally for Windows, Mac OS and Chrome OS users. Now, that's not talking about the memory saver and energy saver. They are talking about the different modes that you will see appear in the for the memory saver that will appear in the omni box here at the top right of the address bar and then you will also see a little um, energy saver icon appear in the toolbar now those haven't started rolling out although um, google has made um, the memory saver and energy saver available in the stable version of chrome and although the um, the memory saver and energy saver modes are not available currently in the stable version as i have posted previously they are available in Chrome Canary, which is a preview version, which will give you a very good idea as to what to expect when Google does start rolling out these two modes, energy saver mode and, and um, a memory saver mode over the next weeks to the stable channel. Now, just to demonstrate, um, yeah, you can see that I have an inactive tab. So tab active again. And if I click on that, it says memory saver, uh, memory saver made Chrome faster. While this tab was inactive, memory saved saver freed up memory for other tasks. You can change this at any time in the settings and that will take you to that performance page as mentioned. And then if I unplug my laptop, because I've got it set to when my battery is unplugged, you will see now in the top right of the toolbar as I've just unplugged and now my battery is running, my laptop is running on battery power. You will see here now we get a energy saver mode. And when energy saver is on background activity and some visual effects like smooth scrolling may be limited, you can turn that off if you don't require it or you can just click on OK. So those are the two modes that will be rolling out to the stable version as part of the performance page, those memory saver and energy saver mode settings, the new memory saver, which will appear in the top right of the address bar and the little energy saver um, mode, which will appear in the toolbar to the top right of the browser and um, that will be rolling out over the next couple of weeks to the stable version according to Google. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.